Hey, welcome to the Equidus shop. This is where we do a lot of our product development and we really do most of our manufacturing as well. Uh, today we wanted to go ahead and show you our pill splitter, the double plated pill splitter. It's quite a bit different than your typical pill splitter. We want to take the opportunity to go through maybe some tips and techniques, split some pills, show you how it works and maybe help you get a better idea of how to make it work for you. Okay, so before I go through some tips on how to use our pill cutter, I want to address one very common question we get um, quite frequently. And that's about the indent. Now this is our old version of the pill cutter. As you can see, it has an indent. Um, this is our actually our new version. Due to customer feedback, we got rid of the indent because it had a lot of problems with smaller pills falling into the indent, as you'll see in one of my older videos, and then making it more difficult to cut. So this is our new version. We're going to go through some tips on how to cut different sized and shaped pills. And we'll do that just by cutting them right now. Now, um, the first most important thing to remember is that this goes up on its side when you cut it generally. And it, you know, with a single blade pill cutter, you're going to lay it flat. But with our pill cutter, you're going to want to put it up on its side. Now, if it has a score mark, that's great. Line it up on the score mark. But if your pill doesn't have a score mark, that's okay. That's what this pill cutter is designed to do. It scores the pill. And so the main thing is just that you line it up by eye. Now the next step is I could um, close this lid now. I just like to cover it with my hands and there you go. So I'm going to show you with each of these pills how the halves turned out. You get pretty, pretty good halves there. So that's the first pill. Now um, we do have a lot of people that have circular pills like this and they wonder, can I cut it into quarters? Well, with our pill splitter, you can. You'd have a really hard time doing that with a single blade pill cutter. So to do this, the first thing you're going to do is get it up on its side again, like, oops, like the last pill. And then you kind of just squeeze it together, not all the way yet. But that allows you to kind of get it centered with your other finger or your other hand. Now we're just going to cover it over. Same thing. And I'm going to show you these halves. Pretty good halves. Now if I wanted to quarter it, um, I'm going to just take a half and lay it flat side down. Do it the same way, just kind of line it up by eye, and there you go. Let me show you these quarters. Line them up so you can see kind of how good they are. So those are some pretty good quarters. I've never got ones like that in a million years with a razor blade pill cutter. So next we're going to do kind of an odd shaped pill. This is um, quite commonly we'll have people ask us about a triangular shaped pill or one like this, like an egg shaped pill. Now obviously you'd have a pretty hard time getting quarters out of this, but you can do halves and I'm going to show you with this. Now with this one you're going to put the long side just up in the blades and just center it again. Same way you always do. Uh, cover it over, and then I'm going to show you these halves. Okay, and then lastly, we're going to do a large pill. Now, a lot of people are concerned that the large pill will go above the blades. And I'm going to show you, this one goes quite a bit above the blades, but generally that's not a problem because our pill cutter scores the bottom of it so well 
that it'll just create a crack. Let me show you. See, it's twice the size of the blades. But I'm going to show you when I cut it, it'll just create a crack and you get really good halves there. Hey, you've seen our pill splitter now and you haven't clicked away. We've got a bunch of other great products. Go check us out on Equidose.com.